everybody, Jeannie Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited today because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make this delicious dessert, Jeannie Young style. This recipe is easy, doesn't require a lot of ingredients, and if you make a Jeannie Young style, it's going to be so tasty. When I come back, I want to show you the ingredients you will need. First ingredient you will need would be puff pastry. Now, this puff pastry is pre-made. I'm going to show you how to make an amazing dessert. Okay, so that's what you're going to need. You can find this in the freezer section of your local market. You do have to thaw this out. Now, right here in my ramekin here, I have some cold water. And we have a Gardale sea salt milk chocolate caramel bar. We also have some powdered sugar and some coffee ice cream. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this amazing recipe. So I thought today that I would come in and share this amazing recipe with you all because here, and let me know in the comment section below if you know what I'm talking about. So I'm one of those persons that love the chocolate filled croissants, right? Let me know if, if, you, if you know what I'm talking about. Starbucks has them. They are so delicious. You got that savory crunk, cr you know, like crescent roll. In the inside, you got this warm chocolate filled croissant, and it's delicious. Dunkin' Donuts has it. And sometimes at your local markets um, and international markets, you can find what they call softies. They are croissants as well, and they're filled with chocolate and or like a white cream. So since I'm so much in love with that recipe, I figured I have to show you this. Now, we like to have this here at the Young's house for breakfast. Now, it's not only for breakfast. Have it for a snack, have it for dessert, have it because it's so easy to make and it's delicious. Number two, before we get started, let's talk about what's gonna happen today. Today is March 8th. At 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Jeannie Young's gonna be going live. Yes, I'm going live, we're doing a whole live cooking session and you can cook along with me. So what I've already done, I've made a community post, I've posted all the ingredients for what you're gonna need. We're gonna be making chicken tetrazzini today and you can cook along with me. All you gotta do, run out and grab your ingredients and be there 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. We're gonna have so much fun, all right? So now, first thing that I wanna do is you gotta open up your puff pastry. Like I said, you can purchase it in the freezer section of your local market. You know, a lot of you might wanna go to Walmart and find it, it's in the freezer section. Okay, so you do wanna thaw it out on the counter for about 40 minutes. And that's what the box says, it says no longer than 40 minutes. So I set mine on the counter yesterday for 40 minutes. After that 40 minutes was up, I put it in the refrigerator and here we are. So we have some thawed out dough. So let me take a look, look at this here. This is what we have. You're gonna have these pieces of paper, just discard of them, okay? Now, how, however many you would like to make, that's how many pieces of dough you're gonna use. But I'm gonna show you. So the first set, what we're gonna do, we need to take a knife and you see this perforated edge? We're just gonna slice into it, just like so in this manner. Now, whatever type chocolate bar that you love, here at the Young's house, we like that sea salt with the caramel in it and a still chocolate, it's delicious. So, excuse me, so that's what I chose. You can also find these where they have the raspberry filling in the inside. You may even, don't quote me on this one, you might be able to find one with peanut butter in the inside or dark chocolate or even just white chocolate. What you love is what you're gonna use, okay? Some of them have nuts, like have fun with the ingredient that you decide to put in. So now, we're gonna get our chocolate nice and open, and when I come back, I'm gonna show you how to wrap this chocolate around the puff pastry dough and what we're gonna do next. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna break apart, so well, let me show you this first. So you have that, right? We're gonna break apart our chocolate pieces, and if it breaks the way you don't want it to, you're gonna have to get a piece that does not, let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. It's hard, hard to explain. You want your piece to be like this, okay? We're gonna take that piece and we're gonna put it right there, smack dab in the middle. Now, this one here, look what happened. It broke apart, so I don't wanna use it. 
because I want it to turn out beautiful in the inside. In order for it to turn out beautiful in the inside, it has to be a full square, okay? It, it, you'll understand, you will. All right, so now come on in. We're gonna take this and we're gonna just take our fingers just like so, okay? Use a little bit of water if you want to. I suggest using a little bit of cold water to seal the edges. And then we're gonna come through this way. All right, take our finger and a little bit of cold water. Seal the edge there. A little bit of cold water here. Seal the edge. Just use your finger. We're not looking for anything perfect. You don't have to crimp the edges. Just basically make sure that everything is nice and sealed. Okay, so I'm wetting it up just like so. I have a clean cookie sheet that I'm gonna set these on and I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees, okay? Take your time, you got all the time in the world. Don't rush this recipe. You gotta make sure that those edges are nice and sealed because you don't want for that beautiful chocolate to come running out, okay? So when I come back, we'll do the other two and a couple more. Got the oven preheated 350 degrees. Second one. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take my fingers now and wet that part, okay? Remember, put your chocolate in the middle and fold it right over and then make it attach to the rest of the dough. Puff pastry is amazing. You can do so many different recipes using puff pastry. I'm telling you, I, I love pre-made things, you know, and all you gotta do is figure out how to make it taste delicious. You know, bump it up, put some pudding in the inside, put some raspberries on top with some homemade whipped cream. Like, listen, the, puff pastry is fun to work with. Just trust me when I tell you this. So now that I have this nice and sealed, we're gonna go ahead and seal the sides once again. And I'll probably make, I don't know, I was thinking maybe I'm gonna make about six of them. Okay, because I know that my family loves, loves, loves these. And I wanna have at least two of them, you know? <laughs> so I better make enough, cause they're gonna sure enough eat these bad babies up. Okay, so I'm making sure the edges are nice and sealed, just like so in this manner. Okay, and then we're gonna come across this way, wet it up a little bit, crimp it with your fingers, smash it however, smear it, make sure that it's nice, sealed, and closed. Okay, when they bake up, the edges will seal together. You're gonna get a nice, crispy, beautiful, golden brown, kind of flaky like a croissant, and you're gonna fall in love with this here recipe. And I want you all to share this recipe with the whole world. Share it with your family and friends. And then you come back, you come back and message me. I'll see the message. You message me and you say, uh, Gina, I made it. And I'd love to see what you say after you made it and how your family and friends enjoyed this recipe. So now you see that I'm making sure the edges are nice and closed. We're gonna put this onto the cookie sheet and I'll make about maybe four or five more. So now all we're going to do right now is we're going to get these into the oven, 350 degrees until the puff pastry. You're going to see it puff up a little bit and you're going to see a beautiful golden brown color. Once that happens, they're done. And now you, you don't want to go and just bite right into it because inside that chocolate is going to be so hot. It's going to be like hot lava. So what I'm suggesting to you all, let it cool down for a little bit. It'll still be melty and beautiful and gorgeous, but let it cool down before you serve it to your loved ones. Take a look at this, everybody. I'd like to say between 12, about, about 10 and 12 minutes, take a look at what we got. Now, when they came out, they were this tall, but after setting for a while, they, they do come down a little bit. Look at that. Look at this. This is so exciting, but... You have to be patient. You have to be patient. I know right now you just wanna just rip into it. But wait a second, okay? Because what we wanna do is we wanna make it beautiful and presentable. And how I like to do that is I like to dust it just lightly with the uh, powdered sugar. But if you do it right now, the powdered sugar will melt. We don't want it to melt. Let's let it cool down. We're going to plate this up. After we plate it, I'm gonna say an amazing prayer. You're gonna get that first bite, but not only are you gonna get the first bite, you're gonna to get to see this beautiful caramel and chocolate in the inside of this amazing dough. When I come back. 
listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, tell the whole world about Gina Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's say a really quick, short prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for this beautiful dessert. We thank you for your many, many blessings and your lessons. Please forgive us for our sins in the name of Jesus. Come into our hearts and make you our Lord and Savior. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. So I put my powdered sugar. So, sorry about the dogs barking. Dakota coming home from school. They could smell him at the driveway. Okay, look at this. A little bit of powdered sugar. Let's dust it. Make it pretty, right? <laughs> oh, we have made a beautiful dessert, a beautiful snack, a beautiful breakfast. Have it with a nice cup of tea, some coffee, or even some coffee ice cream like we're going to do today here at the Young's house. Let's set this up so we can break it open and you can try it. They've cooled down. Time to cut down into them and see the big surprise that I have for you all. <laughs> I got a surprise. Oh, look at that. Look at it. Oh, it's so exciting. So now let's open this one. <laughs> As if you didn't know pastry filled with chocolate isn't amazing let's open it up so you can see look at that oh this is delicious with a cup of coffee listen we decided not even not even to do the ice cream you don't need it we're going to dig into this right now listen here take a bite let me know what you think <laughs> and i come back and take a look at how i played up take a look take a look at this right here that's how I like to present it. Put some raspberries on the plate. Like I said, maybe some ice cream if you want. Have fun with this here recipe. Gina Young style. God bless you all. Thank you. Ooh, thank you for watching. I'm, I'm taking a bite. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This is my favorite. Mm -mm -mm. Make you some. Mm.